to rebel, to anger him, blaspheme, lie to him, tempt him, resist him, to make him sad, to quench or turn him off, and to insult him. These are the nine things that we must not do against the Holy Spirit. Hello to everyone. My name is Augusto Giron. Welcome. We have eight verses in the Bible where we can find things that we must not do against the Holy Spirit of God. I have done these presentations really with the desire to offer them to you so that you can read them, meditate him, and to see the things that we must not do in order to keep our communion with him. Now, you may ask why? Because I believe that in order to be safe, we must be led, direct, walk according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit because those are the sons of God. And in order to escape the great tribulation, it is also important to be aware and to be sensitive about this uh, rapport with the Spirit. You know, the word koinonia in Greek really means intimacy with the Spirit. It was used when a couple got married and had intercourse. Meaning that our rapport with the Holy Spirit must not have any hidden agendas. It must be transparent. It, will be, it must be pure, holy, Saintful. I would like to recommend to you to read these verses, to meditate on these verses, and to continue to study them. Because my only desire is that you may be able to flourish in your Christian walk with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That we must develop ourselves in a relationship with the Father, to walk with the Holy Spirit so that we may be able to become the children of God that God wants us to be and to be able to fight the good fight. You are really a blessing to me. My joy, my glory for watching my videos. I trust that you will continue to follow me and to look to the next series that I will offer to you in the next days to come. In a couple of days, I will put the next video. I bless you in Jesus' name and until next time.